Josephy has a very interesting 8-7 of diamonds, likes it, makes it 180 with that hand. Into Goo. He's got Ace-7. Goes out, Matt Perry. Professional player living in Vegas now. Goes away, and now Gia has the real hand. Pair of jacks. And he's just calling, which is surprising to me. I mean, he's really created an image with those two four bets so far of an aggressive preflop player. Having jacks in the small blind here seems like a good opportunity to put more money in the pot with that image. I'm not really sure why he's calling. You got Greg Weber, the firefighter, to stick around, and the flop is at ace nine six. Very intriguing flop. Middle pair for Greg, open ender plus a back row flush draw for Cliff, and a pair under the ace for Gia. Cliff Joseph he raised before the flop will make the continuation bet of two forty. Gia has to be disappointed with the ace popping up there, but he is in front of this point, makes the call. And Greg has a piece of that. This would be an easier fold for Greg if he had jack nine, but because he has nine eight, he's also trying to factor in whether he should peel with the backdoor straight draw. But he makes the right decision, does get away here. So here we go. It's an eight. So that gives Josephy a pair plus the open ended. Gia checks. And Josephy also checking down to the river we go. And a seven. Cliff has two pair. Um, I don't know why she is betting here. He bets 400K into a million, and if I had to guess, his intention is to bluff because he can't really get called by a worse hand. So I believe he's trying to make Cliff fold something like a weak ace. This is a little awkward. And he's got to lay the two pair down. Wow, and I guess Cliff was just convinced that his opponent either had the flush or a straight. 